Rubber chicken is life. Rubber chicken is life. Well, hi there. It's a fantastic thing to collect. Lightning McQueen. Tons of variations, and this video is going to focus on the differences between the cars three Lightning McQueen and the one that preceded it, which we'll call the classic Lightning McQueen. So my strip down will be of this car's two Lightning McQueen and this car's three Lightning McQueen that are still mint in box. With all the hype about Disney cars, there is a precision series of these toys about. That is a Mattel toy in there. I'm a bit curious about that one, but I don't want to get derailed. You can see it costs me a fair bit of money. And if I see unusual McQueens, this is stuff that I've picked up in the past. That's a transforming one, I believe that's what it's called. I will buy it. And I've only got one of those. So unfortunately I'm keeping it in packaging here. McQueen has got so many variations and there was also this one here. This is spectacular this one. It's a Lightning Storm McQueen. It's got a whole bunch of missiles underneath there. I'm not sure you can see. You can probably see it more in the picture there. He's got like little wings and missiles underneath there. Uh, but McQueen's fantastic to collect. Disney cars will literally pick off flash in the pan moments to develop a toy. Uh, it explains here, Rookie Racer, Lightning McQueen, daydreams about the Goodson Glamour of Donico sponsorship. Apparently that's what that's about. There's also an app thing there. Do we really want to go there with apps? I want to play with real toys. I'm very old fashioned, aren't I? But I know one thing, a toy like this doesn't hang on the pegs for very long. It was one of the deluxe series, so it's a little bit more ritzy to buy. And this one here definitely didn't hang around for very long, and I'm really sad I didn't get two of these. The Disney Cars diecast, I call that just the standard diecast size. There was a larger one getting about. I'm not that up on uh, Disney Cars, but these came from the charity shop as a pair. That's the king there. And with the Disney stuff, I can't find the date underneath there. There's like a manufacturing number there, but it doesn't really relate to a date. I can only assume this is from the first film. Uh, there's a McQueen here as well. One fail with these toys and nearly all the die casts is that the axles tend to fail. That McQueen's had a lot of love, and that's fine. I'm sure this McQueen here and the King would have given someone a fantastic time of play. And I love toys that come in. It's got a broken wheel there. I love them like that. I hate seeing toys which aren't played with. Disney Cars 3 is a bit of a strange bag because uh, we've got McQueen in disguise as Apple Mupple Fripper. I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's the old format Fat McQueen. Uh, then there was the Primer Grey McQueen. I bought the $100 Toys R Us pack to get this one. And this is the skinny version of McQueen. And the way, well, I'm starting to know how to do it, but you look for a squared off area there where my finger's pointing, and designates the new slimmer style, okay? If I look underneath Apple Mupple Fripper, it's the rounded area there where my finger is. So this change has me very, very confused. It has, I dare say, some of my viewers confused. From the Skinny McQueen, I actually did a smashed up one from another video. Uh, there were some great comments on that. Some people got disturbed when I did that, but I think a smashed up McQueen looks fantastic because it is part of the car's three story. And really, in this video, I want to try to understand why have they changed McQueen to the slimmed down version. As usual in Australia, the internet's down. Oh, it's back. There was a very helpful comment from a YouTuber, Duncan M, on this video here. Let me find the comment. We had a bit of a chat here about the Cars 3 film because I haven't seen it and I was curious whether McQueen got reformatted to a different body style and will base and it gets answered in this string of queries here. Duncan M was very helpful, I uh, asked him a lot of questions, he replied back and it says here he does not get a change in his will base or body design in Cars 3. Thank you Duncan M, uh, your information about Cars 3 was awesome, it's something I needed to know before I went on to produce this video and I've got something very nice for you lined up that I'll show you at the end of the video. Next thing for me to do is to basically come in and unbox both these cars. Okay, I'll start with this one. <gasps> I'm missing something, aren't I? Bring in the chicken. And a rubber chicken will unbox this every single time. Come on, chicken, do your magic, please. Ah, bit hard to get this one. Rubber chicken is life! Rubber chicken is life! Let's see if it's done it. Yes! The rubber chicken has succeeded. And that... Uh, needs a chicken again. Oh, why is it so difficult to get out? Okay. That one's free. Thank you, chicken. There's one more to go, isn't there? 
Okay, chicken, do your thing. Whoa, look at him go. He's doing it fine. Okay, I think the chicken, yeah. Wow, look at that. Nice work, rubber chicken. And the Disney cars, Slight McQueen is free. Okay, chicken, you're fired. And I'll move in and do a locked off camera shot between these two cars. Now the secret to doing this so the cars are lined up the same each time, I've got an Allen key there that'll be lining up the back wheels and the side of McQueen and I'll just glue that to the table so the car's in the same position every time. So with the camera locked off, I'll be uh, swapping out the cars from Cars 2 firstly to Cars 3. You've got to watch the titles which are going on in this video to understand what's going on and you'll start to see the radical changes that have been going on between these Lightning McQueens. Now, as I've learned, uh, McQueen doesn't get a different wheelbase or new body in Cars 3, so why has this toy changed? What's going on here? I think I'm going to have to drill open these Light McQueens to find out exactly what's going on inside. Yes, uh, seeing this, to me, is a toy mystery. We love toy mysteries, and we've got to ask the question, why has this changed? Oh yeah, I'm hoping the locked-off camera shot uh, has started to expose the changes that have gone on here. Did it need to be changed? I think there's only one positive that I see in this, and that is the new skinnier format McQueen will fit on Hot Wheels track. But did we ever want that? Uh, that's the question in this video. Let's open up McQueen and see what's going on inside. Before I go to the chop shop, I will do a weigh-in. That's the Cars 2 Lightning McQueen. 56 point... Ooh, nearly 5.0. That's in grams. It's just actually 56.49. Just remember 56 and a half in a sense. Okay, this one, the Cars 3, 52.76, so it's actually lighter than the Cars 2 McQueen. I'll just put some post attack down here, quite a lump of it, and I will get the Cars 2 McQueen, and I'll use the post attack to hold him, so I can come in and drill out these rivets. It's one of those little jobs you want to be nice and careful with, and really the aim is to drill out the stem of the rivet, and... Uh, just take it slowly, don't go bull at the gate. Just drill it slowly here. And hopefully something is going to give. And usually when you drill through a rivet, something will pop up when it's released. I hope. Absolutely riveting viewing, isn't it? Sorry for the pun. Ooh, I think that one's just about done. I might have to go up a drill size to get that fully clear, but I'll just start drilling the back one carefully. I've just gone up a drill size just to see if I can clear the head of the rivet there on that one and the back one as well. The back rivet uh, is holding so is the front one. If I give it a suck out with my vacuum, maybe I'll see it a bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit tougher than I expected. I think the front one's just about clear. And just the back one needs another very careful drill. <clears throat> Well, I've cleaned it up. I don't want to drill any further. I can see the stem of the rivets on both sides. I'm going to use uh, this probe here. I'm just going to try and see if I can ease uh, the body. Oh, there we go. Okay, that one is free and hard. Yes. Oh, it was actually. Uh, just take your time if you're doing that. Don't go crazy. And now we're inside McQueen. Well, if he had a driver, the driver would be sitting here. I don't know which side. It's an American car, isn't it? Okay, so that's the underneath. Give you any sort of reference there. I'll tell you what, there's not much inside this toy. The pinwheel axles that Mattel love are just up on pigs. In fact, the back ones are just up on plastic. Mm, the front ones are up on metal. And I've just got to get this uh, piece of window work out. Because to get the window out here, uh, there's like a rivety thing there. And I have to come in and drill this really, really carefully without going crazy or so I'm going to smash up the window, aren't I? Really carefully, eh? Yes, it's one of these things you have to be really, really careful with, and it's probably better off giving a little bit of persuasion. I'm just trying to ease over the edge of this uh, and try and pull this plastic and see if I can free it without doing any more drilling. And I think I've got this. Okay, if I can leave, yes. Okay, that piece is free. Now I can see inside here, I can see the rivets clearly and the stem size on this Cars 2 one and I'll just put a caliper on this so if you need to drill yours you'll know a good size to start with. 
Well, in millimeters, I'm getting that. It's like 3.34. If you had about a 3.5 millimeter drill, it'd be fine. If I flick that, it'll give you Imperial. I can't read Imperial. Uh, maybe that number there is going to help you. That was the first drill I used when I was opening up McQueen. I'll just put this on here, see what it was. It's a 3.9, whatever, 9.5, 9, whatever. That's actually uh, not a bad size, and I will use that again to open up the Cars 3 McQueen. The first one is always going to be the learning curve. If I don't learn from the first one, I'm wasting my time and I will get the next McQueen in position. Hopefully it will be the same, same, taking my time. You don't need to see all of this. And if I see anything uh, different in this one, I'll certainly report back to you. Yeah, I think that drill size is nearly four millimeters. I think that's a winner. I think I've drilled it out enough here. We should be able to pop it now. Oh yes, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And the back one should pop up as well. There we go. And this is the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. What's inside here? Ooh, it looks very similar, doesn't it? Same way the back wheels are held on, the same way with the front pinwheel axle. I've just got to drill out that piece there. This piece here is very tricky. I'll just get the last bit with this probey thing. Oh, I bent the pinwheel axle already. I don't like those axles, and hopefully this will just pop up now. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't like drilling too much there. Oh, I think I've got it free, yes. Not a fan of pinwheel axles, and how often do you see the die-cast cars toys? I've got bent wheels, and I've been able to bend that up. So there's my classic uh, Lightning McQueen Cars 2-1 all pulled down, and there is the Cars 3 die-cast all pulled down. Well, I know there's one thing which is very different. Let's take a look at the wheels and axles between Cars 2 and Cars 3 McQueen. This one here with the yellow circle there, that's Cars 2. This one here is the new Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. If I turn these tires sideways and get rid of my fingers, dun dun dun. Ooh, the Cars 3 tires a lot thinner. As for why this is different, I do not know, but I'm curious to put the fat tyres here on the skinny McQueen. So this is Cars 3, I know that because 95's there and he's, well he's lost weight. It'd be a nice way of saying it, wouldn't it? If I put that piece in there, again I can get a back set of wheels on here, I can set a front set of wheels on here. And if I'm really careful I can sort of close it up again, hopefully without a disaster happening. So what do you think of my custom here? This is Cars 3 Lightning McQueen with the Cars 2 wheel sets. It's a fatter wheel. Hmm, can you see much difference going on there? Oh, I think it actually looks better. Maybe it looks no different to you. What do you think? You know, there's one very, very curious thing here. Let me get my Hot Wheels track in here now. I showed you before how it could fit onto Hot Wheels track when it was Cars 3 with Cars 3 wheels. Look at this. Dun dun dun, it will not fit onto the Hot Wheels track with the Cars 2 tyres. That's a very, very curious revelation, isn't it? I'm not tricking you there, it's hard up on this side and it's riding over the edge of the track here. Now I am going to build up the Cars 2 McQueen with the Cars 3 wheels. Well, the uh, curious part here is there's two different length axles. I wasn't quite sure whether that was the same with the other axle set. There's a short axle set and there is a long axle set. Remember, I'm putting the Cars 3 wheels onto a Cars 2 body and I'll just close it up like this. Hmm. Well, I can tell you something. Uh, it doesn't quite look right to me. It looks like the wheels are a little bit too far in. What do you think? Yeah, just doesn't seem right, does it? Let me just bring back the Cars 3, which has got the Cars 2 wheels on. Look look at that there. You can see that they're, they're out about side the body a little bit, aren't they? Mm. Looking at this one here again. It's strange, isn't it? It's very strange. Now, the big test is, will this one be able to fit onto the Hot Wheels track? That is the Cars 2 body with the Cars 3 wheels. And the body's actually fouling on the track. The wheels certainly fit in there, so maybe I'm starting to get an understanding why they've slimmed down. McQueen done this radical change. Look at that, the body's too fat for that track. That is really curious. The wheels have got me a little bit spooked because, remember, this is Cars, classic Lightning McQueen Cars 2 with the Cars 3 wheels. The Cars 3 axles is actually two different size axles, you think that's a little bit more complex to make, isn't it? 
on a car, if I put the axles on the wrong way, in fact I'll do that, I'll go and put his wheels back on the car 3 one, but I'll put it around the wrong way. Like opening up a giant hornet's nest of why have they changed this? I mean, it's really, really spooking me. So this is the car's 3 McQueen, the skinny version. Instead of putting the front axle on there, which is actually not as wide as the rear axle, I'm going to try and squeeze it on the back here. And it'll probably turn him into a funny car. That is, if it only just fits there. And I'm going to put the longer axle on the front here, and I'll close it up. Okay, it will still sort of snap back together in a way. There we go. Yeah, look at that there. Now I've reversed the axles around. He's back of his... It's a like Disney Cars 3 McQueen with the same axles. So if you get a McQueen which has got like a wonky front wheel, they've got the axles around the wrong way, and then the back axle here is too narrow, and the wheels are being sucked in. That's strange, isn't it? Why have they given him two different size axles on McQueen? So even with these wheels reversed around and done wrong, he will still go into the Hot Wheels track here, but it's just perplexing me why we've got these strange changes going on. And the other piece which is actually notably different is this plastic piece here which is like his windows and also holds the back wheels. That's the Cars 3 one versus the Cars 2. That's the Cars 3 McQueen there. If I try and put the Cars 2 window set in it's not going to go in. I'm going to have to basically damage it to get in there. Okay, it's, it's a lot wider. So I'm never going to push it up into the spot. I'm only going to break it. Mm. And if I grab the Cars 2 McQueen and try and put the Cars 3 uh, plastic window -y bit in, well, it will go in there quite easily, but it's sort of a shrunken fit because the Cars 3 McQueen is sort of skimpier and skinnier. It looks like somebody shrunk the window set, doesn't it? Weird. If I look at the Cars 2 and the Cars 3 die-cast shell here, um, it's very hard to tell what's going on. You know, is it a cheaper build? Well, I can't see that much difference. It's a little bit lighter, isn't it? But the way the toy's built, it's no different at all. So I really do question why they've done this change. I think this component here, I call it the floor pan of the car, starts to really point out the difference between the Cars 2 McQueen and the Cars 3. Let's take a look at the Cars 2 one first. I like it because it's a simple design. Remember I spoke about the axles before. I can swap the axles round on the Disney Cars 2 classic one. And if I put a ruler here, I can draw a straight line right through where the inside of the tyres would be, right through the subframe there. You have to remember that, it's important to remember, but uh, we're going to see something different when we take a look at the Disney 3 McQueen. Nothing wrong with this, it's classic, hey? It didn't really need to ever be changed, but when we take a look at this, this is from the Cars 3 McQueen, the big difference is really those axles. The fact we've got two different axles, and if I put my ruler here in a straight line through, we can see the front axle set is skinnier. It actually sucks in in this part here. Now, to me, that's a more complex toy to make because, well, you need different components, don't you? It has completely mystified me why we needed the change between this to this. I'm going to weigh the shells just by themselves. That's the Cars 2 Classic 1. So we've got there, what, 46.5, let's call it. 46.55. Remember that, 46.55. This is the Cars 3. 43.39. That's about 3 grams difference, isn't it? So three grams of metal weight difference between those two. It's very hard to tell by hand, I can tell you. You have to be pretty good to feel that. Let me just show it to you by using some washers. Maybe we're getting to the root reason why it's different. Hmm, maybe. Well, there you go. I've weighed out just over three grams of metal in washers. Well, I can tell you this. That is going to spook me for the rest of my life, that little pile of washers there equates to three grams that's the difference in weight in the die cast shells there why has there been this change the new mcqueen has a more complex wheel set because they're different axles front to back what's wrong with the old mcqueen it's a classic there's nothing wrong with it it's a simple design we love simple in seeing this change does that mean the toy bean counters have got control we've got to make a cheaper mcqueen or is this change all about getting McQueen onto Hot Wheels track, which I think is a very, very positive move? I know my audience are far smarter than me. I know they're going to have reasons why there's been changes. 
and I'm sure they're going to have something to say in this video. Hey, let me move on to show you the prize, the thank you prize that I will give the person who I spoke about earlier on in the video. There's the name there, Duncan M. I've got something for you. Okay, life's too short not to go through it without a mega stretch frog. Uh, lots of fun, but be careful, I'll slap you in the face. A Disney cast 3 Lightning McQueen, of course we've worked out that is the uh, one which has got less metal in it. That's what this video is about. Uh, another nice one I picked up at the reject shop at the right price. I've been finding lots of uh, Disney stuff there. Um, the cast 3 Ripple Flipper Fritter. Okay, I still don't exactly know why he's like that. Uh, Thomas Minnie's Glow in the Dark set. There was a time when they were extremely hard to find, but now they're everywhere. Uh, I picked up this from Dezo. It is a set of gun erasers. My son went wild when he saw that. About the only guns that are legal in Australia. This is one of my favourites. A Smiling Poop Slingshot. Yes, you heard it correctly. Okay. Uh, one of my favourite toys. My son loves these, although I've never reviewed them. Stick bots. I bought all this stuff. I'm not doing ads for toy companies, boys and girls. Another one I found at the Reject Shop, the Black Series Star Wars. You can see the uh, awesome critters in there. Yeah, it's Titanium Series. Nice, isn't it? How much did I pay for that? They were $25 at the Reject Shop. I'm just amazed what I find at that store. And here's another one that I found at another store. It was actually Big W. Monster Jam 25 year celebration, blah, blah. Look at that there. Grave Digger, Silver, Collectors, blah, blah. Spectacular toy. And they didn't last on the pegs very long, I can tell you. And <laughs> another one that actually I've seen in the reject shop, and that's where this one came from. Would you believe the special edition Gold Thomas? Yes, the comments from Duncan M really uh, was able to let me go ahead and make this video when I found out that this McQueen here, uh, the toy is different, but in the story McQueen never gets a makeover like you see this toy has. I'll send you a message, Duncan M, through YouTube if you see it. Oh, I don't know. Most people don't see the messages I sent out. Remember, uh, please let me know what you think's going on and why they've changed McQueen. Uh, I'd like to know. I know a lot of trolls are never going to answer that question.